In this video, we are going to learn about dilations in the coordinate plane. First, let's review what a dilation is. A dilation is a type of transformation, which means that it's an operation that you can perform on an object or a line segment. And this type of transformation enlarges or reduces a shape, meaning it makes it bigger or it makes it smaller. Anytime you do a dilation, you need to know two things. You need to know the center of dilation, which is where everything is going to be stretched from. And you also need to know the scale factor, which is often denoted by the letter K. When we're working in the coordinate plane, the center of dilation is going to almost always be the origin 0, 0, unless otherwise noted. In this example on the left, we are going to assume the center of dilation is 0, 0, and the scale factor is going to be 3. And what we're going to do is dilate this rectangle. Now, if the scale factor is bigger than 1, as it is in this case because it's 3, that means we're going to be enlarging the shape. Anytime it's bigger than one, you're getting bigger. How you do this is you start from your center and then look at all four vertices and you're going to stretch the distance from the center to each vertex by a factor of three. So what I mean is if you look at this distance right here, we have one diagonal unit. We want to multiply that distance by three. So make this new point three times as far away. So if that's one, then this is two and this is three. So this is where the new point will be. We do the same thing over here. One, two, three. Here's our new point. Now with these, we are going over one and up three in our original point. So we want to do that two more times. That's one more time. And we're off this page there, but that's okay. And we're all the way up there. And we would do the same thing over here. It's sort of symmetrical and get a point up there. So our new rectangle is this big red rectangle. And all four sides of this rectangle are three times as long as there are corresponding sides in the original rectangle. One thing you'll notice if you check all of the coordinates is that each xy coordinate has been multiplied by the scale factor. So for example, this original point right here was 1, negative 1. The new point after the dilation over here is 3, negative 3. So notice that both the coordinates have been multiplied by 3, which is the scale factor. So in general, with a dilation in the coordinate plane, the rule is xy, that point, will go to kx, ky, where again, k is the scale factor. Now this only works if the center of dilation is the origin, 0, 0, but it usually is. So double check that it is first before you do any problem. And let's look at one more example. In this example, we're again going to have our center of dilation be the origin, and this time our scale factor is going to be 1 half. Now because the scale factor is less than 1, this is going to be a reduction. In other words, our shape is going to get smaller. The process is the same. You start at your center and think about how far away each of the vertices of your shape is from that center. Then we're going to take each of those distances and have them to create our new shape. So this point right here is a diagonal distance of 2 from the center of dilation. So that means our new point is going to be right here, half that distance. If we look at from this point over to here, we notice that we've gone over 4 and up 2. 
So halfway would be over 2, up 1. So that's right here. If we continue, we will get our resulting shape. And we, when we connect those vertices, we can see what the shape looks like. We'll notice that it is closer to the center of dilation, and each side length is half as long as it was in the original. So in general, remember for in the coordinate plane, the center of dilation is usually the origin. You just want to use the scale factor to help you to find the new points. If your scale factor is less than one, then your shape will get smaller. And if the scale factor is bigger than one, then your shape will get bigger. And you can always use this rule to help you figure out the coordinates as well.